are you serious? Do you have your, are you serious? Jesus saves coffee cups. Because I'm telling you this morning, the coffee is fresh. It is good. Oh, wait. Mmm. Wow. Hey, let me just say something to you right now. Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he's going to return. Last night, things got a little crazy around here because MSNBC broke with an article about me, about the, uh, the end times. It is for the Blood Red Texas Lake. Remember, I did the video on the Texas Lake. Well, this thing has went viral. It was uh, last night, an article on MSNBC.com. Also, Yahoo News, in times, Texas Lake turns blood red. Pastor Paul Begley of Indiana, Indiana. Also, God Discussions did an article on it. The Houston Chronicles did an article on it. Live Science did an article on it. This morning, I see that China Daily has also covered it. A ton of websites. And W, uh, excuse me, KTRH News Talk. 7.40 a.m. out of Houston, Texas has contacted me and are going to do a live interview on me and I'm going to let you know when that is. That either is today or tomorrow probably. I'll be calling them back as soon as uh, they're ready to talk. They've sent me their phone numbers and email address and everything. So it's going nuts and here's what people are concerned about. What are they all up in arms? Why is the mass media, why is the major secular mass media now asking an Indiana preacher about the end of time? Well, here's why. They're concerned about these scriptures found in the Bible. You do know that the O.C. Lake in Texas has turned blood red. It's, it's more redder than my shirt. What? Are you serious? Is this in the Bible? Let's read it. The scripture says in Revelation chapter 16, I'll begin reading at verse 3. The Bible says, And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as a blood of a dead man. Now, we saw that happen last year in the BP oil spill when the water turned red and these clots came up on the shore. But let's read on. As the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of waters, and they became blood. Now, you do know that the lakes are they're fed, they're formed by the fountains of waters from the streams from the earth. They come up, the lakes, the rivers, and now they are beginning to turn red as blood. The Bible said this would happen, so don't be shocked when these biblical prophecies are being fulfilled. The Hosea prophecy, nobody wants to talk about it, but the dead birds died in B.B. Arkansas, 5,000 of them. Did you know two days later, 3,000 blackbirds fell out of the sky? Where? Texas. Where's this lake at? Texas is blood red. Where's the worst drought in 125 years right now in America? Texas. Where, where is there more signs and signs and signs that are happening all around the world? But I want you to understand the Bible is being fulfilled. The common element's coming. I understand that tons of people are starting to cover that as well. If you're not saved, you need to start considering your soul and where it's going to be. I'll let you know when I'm going to be on the radio down there in Houston. Of course, it's on the internet around the world. I'll let you know where else the major news networks are covering the story here on the lake turning red in Texas. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. I feel like a modern day John the Baptist because I'm coming out of a little town in Knox, Indiana, but I'm still preaching the same gospel message I have for 27 years, and that is Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And unless you're born again, you're not going to make it to heaven. And these Bible signs are pointing us to the return of Jesus Christ. I'll be back. Stay with me today. It's going to be a big day.